Hello guys, today we are going to do a co-integration test in Python. Before that, we need to understand what is a co-integration. So if a portfolio is stationary and the portfolio consists of two or more instruments, then the instruments in the portfolios are said to be co-integrated. So first, you need to check whether the portfolio is stationary or not. If yes, then the instruments in the portfolio are co-integrated. So let's quickly jump into and try to find out, try to do a co-integration test. Okay. Let's say we have a portfolio consisting of two stock X and Y. Okay. So it means that we have to do a ADF test, which is augmented DQ filler test to know whether the portfolio is stationary or not. Okay. So what you need to do, we have to calculate the spread of the portfolios. Okay. How to do that? You have to calculate the hedge ratio, which is linear regression of X and Y. And then you calculate the spread, which is Y minus hedge ratio multiplication with X. This is your spread. Once you got the spread, then you do a ADF test on the spread. Now, if in ADF test, you got to know the spread is stationary, it means the portfolio is stationary, right? Hence, X and Y both are co-integrated. All right. So the first step, you need to import the data. So I have already saved the data in my desktop, X and Y. There are two stocks from the NSE and I have downloaded this and saved in my desktop. This is this is the path. So I import this data to um, Jupyter Notebook here and then I created a data frame which is this. So my data frame is consists of two stock now X and Y. Now then I run this df.head so I can see the first five uh, row of my data frame which is looking like this okay just to show you this and then what I did I just plot X and Y both in a graph just to see um, the movement of both X and Y okay by looking at this we can say this is correlated but we cannot say this is co-integrated co or not to to check whether this is co-integrated or not then we need to do um, an ADF test or stationary check on the spread of this two stock. Okay. So then what I did, I, I just uh, wanted to see how it looks like on a scatter plot. Then I put into a scatter plot both X and Y. I can see these are, uh, you know, uh, really correlated. So in order to calculate the spread, uh, as I told, you have to first calculate the uh, hedge ratio okay so to calculate the hedge ratio you have to run this piece of code so you have to import stats model dot api as sm and then put model sm and i only see 9 and df so you have to use sm dot ols data frame y and data frame x and then you need to fit it then print model uh then you will get a hedge ratio of 1.3078 okay so what you need to do now, you need to calculate the spread and the spread is, uh, as I told you, Y minus hedge ratio multiplied with X. This is what we did it here. Okay. And now what I did, I just, I got the spread. Okay. So what I did, I just put the spread. Okay. In a graph to see how the spread is looking like. So if you see the spread is really mean mean reverting. What what is my mean reverting? If you see the zero is here, okay. So it it is going up or putting down. It is coming back to mean again, okay. So this, this is how it looks like. So by looking at the the looking at this graph, we can say that okay, the spread is really uh, stationary in nature, mean reverting in nature. So, but then we have to do a ADF test to conclude this. Okay. Uh, so what we did for the ADF test, how you how need to do. So you have to import the uh, TSA starts tool 
from the starts model and you have to do import a ad fueler module and this is what uh, you need to compute the adf characteristics so now the adf statistics is showing minus 4.11 okay so this is the probabilities 99 percent probabilities uh, 90 percent probabilities and 95 percent probabilities okay so now we got the adf value is minus 4.11 so this minus 4.11 is less than minus 3.43 it means that 99 percent certainty that this spread this spread is stationary in nature so it means that this portfolio is stationary in nature hence x and y both are co-integrated so that's what my conclusion here since minus 4.11 is less than minus 3.44 the portfolio is stationary and x and y is co-integrated with more than 99 certainty okay so this is how you do a uh, co-integration test in python so there are lots of other modules where you can check the co-integration as well okay and probably in some uh, future videos i can tell you uh, there are some other machine learning technique there are some uh, other mathematical modules where you can uh, you know, uh, do co-integration check and build a lot of, uh, uh, you know, algo, algo trading uh, strategies. So once you got to know whether the, uh, you know, pair is co-integration, uh, co-integrated or not, then you can uh, probably uh, develop some strategy like pair trading or mean reporting strategies uh, and all that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is how, um, uh, you know, you can uh, do a co-integration test in Python. Thank you.